Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our today's topic is lesson one. In lesson one, we will study some words. And after studying some words, we will study vowel signs. And after studying the vowel signs, we will study the indefinite articles. Before starting the uh, lesson, I would like to request you please subscribe our channel. Our channel has both Arabic dialect videos and modern standard Arabic videos. Already told you the difference. Arabic dialect is used in daily communication with your friends, family on the streets. In modern standard Arabic is used in the books, in the TV news. It is also used in holy book of Quran. So let's start the lesson. Babun. Babun. Ah, please repeat all of you. Babun. Babun. Babun means a door. A door. Ah, don't repeat the English. Only repeat the Arabic. Babun. Babun. A door. Yeah, it's a challenge. Don't repeat the English. Only repeat the Arabic. Masjidun. Masjidun. A mosque. Masjidun. Masjidun. A mosque. Baitun. 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 A house. Please memorize this Baitun because in uh, grammar studies, I will be giving the example of this Baitun. 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 A house. Miftahun. Miftahun. A key. Miftahun. Miftahun. A key. Kalamun. 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 A pen. Kitabun. 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 A book. Kursiyun. Kursiyun. A chair. Kursiyun. Kursiyun. A chair. Sarirun. 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 A bit. A bit. <laughs> Maktabun. Maktabun. A desk. Maktabun. Maktabun. A desk. You might be wondering, what are all these signs? We have a sign here, a sign here, a sign here, right? Y yes. yes let's, let's explain this. Let's go to vowel signs. Here we go. We have three vowel signs in Arabic. We have three vowel signs in Arabic. This vowel sign is called Fatha. What do we call it? Fatha. This vowel sign is called Kasra. Kasra. This vowel sign is called Dhamma. Dhamma. Yes, let's put these vowel signs on the letter. If you put Fatha on this letter, it will be Ba. Ba. If we put Kasra, what it would be? B. If we put Dhamma, what it would be? Bo. Ba. Ba. Be. Bo. Bo. So every vowel sign produce a different sound. Beside these vowel signs, we have another sign which is called Sukun. Sukun is not a vowel sign. This Sukun tells us that there is no vowel sign on the letter. So whenever there is sukoon on the letter, it shows that there is no vowel sign on the letter. When there is vowel sign, uh, the sukoon on the letter, that letter is read very lightly, simply, like top to. You see, the ba is not producing the sound of ba, but it is top to, tip to, tap to. So let's start the indefinite article. In English, you know what is the indefinite article in English? It is indicated by a and an sound. Like we say, a pen, an apple, a book, an umbrella. So these two size, these two letters, indicates the indefinite noun. But in Arabic, we have a different thing. In Arabic, let's take the example of Baitun. In Baitun, you know that this letter is Fatha, this is Sukun. Now we have a double vowel sign. What do we call this double vowel sign? It is double, double Dhamma. This is called Tanween. Why do we have this Tanween here? 
this tanween shows that this noun is indefinite. Baitun means a house. We don't have a written separate in Arabic, but this a is indicated by this double vowel sign. This double vowel sign is called tanween. Whenever you see this double vowel sign in the noun in Arabic, you should know that that noun is indefinite. Baitun means a house. At the beginning you have studied Kalamun, Kursiyun. Every word ha ha had the double vowel sign at the end. That double vowel sign means what? That the noun is indefinite. Baitun means a house. Like in English we have this a to show that this noun is indefinite. This letter a shows that this noun is indefinite but in arabic we have this double vowel sign at the end of the noun which shows that the noun is what indefinite, indefinite. excellent now i have brought some examples from uh, from the uh, i've uh, brought some examples from uh, the holy book of quran uh, in which this baiton is mentioned so let's see we cannot discuss all the sentence uh, because we are at the very beginning stage. I will only explain this baiton. You see? You see? Here we have baiton. Double vowel sign. Double dhamma. This double dhamma is tanween. And what does it mean? Baiton, a house here. But here we have in awwala baitin, we have Double kasra, which is also tanween. Double vowel sign is called tanween. It also means a house. And here we have in the kabaitan, we have double fatha, which also baitan, it also means a house. But why? Why here it is double fatha? Why it, it is double kasra here? And why it is double dhamma here? These are the things we will be learning in our lessons. In the future, whenever we studied the grammar uh, and uh, we studied a little bit more grammar, we will get to know all of them that that uh, that why uh, it's a double fatha here, uh, double fatha here, double kasra here, double dhamma here. But the meaning is the same. Baiton means a house, baitin means a house, and baitan means a house. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe our channel for the second lesson.